I wanted to create a muffin recipe today using as many whole foods as I could think of and without adding any refined sugar. So be sure to stay tuned to see how they turned out. Hi there, my name is Katrina. Welcome to the Organics channel, where we gather together weekly in the kitchen with one goal in mind, to create healthy and delicious recipes. Today we're going to be making whole food spinach banana avocado muffins. Let's begin today by adding two cups of packed fresh spinach to your blender. I love adding spinach to my recipes because it's really easy to hide the flavor and it packs in so many wonderful nutrients. One overripe banana. This is one of the few sources of sweetness we're using in our muffin recipe today, so be sure to use one that's overripe. One ripe avocado that's going to add in some wonderful healthy fats to our muffins. Six large pitted dates, which is the other source of our whole food healthy sweetener. For flavor, I'm going to add in one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Look at all of these beautiful, colorful foods that you would never think is part of a muffin recipe. I'm so excited. Blend up all of your ingredients until you reach a relatively smooth consistency. You may have a few pieces of dates that don't completely blend in, but that will just add to some wonderful texture to your muffins. Set your blended ingredients aside. I let mine run for about a full minute. And now in a large mixing bowl, we're going to add in two cups of your favorite gluten-free flour. I'm using the Pamela's brand, but feel free to experiment here. And I don't know if almond flour would work. You may need to add in a little bit more liquid, say some oil or some milk. One half of a cup of gluten-free oats. If you don't want to use oats, just simply add in an additional one half of a cup of the flour you're using. For our spices and leavening today, I have two teaspoons of either Ceylon cinnamon or you could use pumpkin pie spice, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one half a teaspoon of baking soda, and one half of a teaspoon of either pink Himalayan or sea salt. Whisk together your dry ingredients. Pour in your blended ingredients and then stir together just until combined. If your batter is too thick, simply add in one to two tablespoons of milk or coconut oil. In either greased or paper lined muffin cups, divide the batter out evenly. I find it easy to use an ice cream scooper to do this. With the back of a greased spoon, smooth out the batter just a little bit. And now for some optional fun toppings. I'm adding dried papaya on half and dried cranberries on the other, pumpkin seeds on half and chopped up pecans on the other. Last, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of shredded coconut on each. Have fun with your favorite dried fruits, nuts, seeds, and other topping ideas. In a 350 degree preheated oven, bake your muffins for about 20 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean when inserted in the middle. Our whole food muffins are ready to give a try. Look at their beautiful green color. Oh my goodness, the fruit is falling off. Let's take a taste. These muffins are super moist. There's not a really strong flavor that's coming through and they're definitely not sweet, which I like. So if you like a sweeter muffin, you could always add a little bit of honey into the batter or just eat them with a little bit of your preferred sweetener on top. Another thing, if you have picky eaters and they're not going to want to eat these green muffins, then add in some cocoa powder and that will completely change the look. It'll change the flavor a little bit and you'll definitely need to add in a little bit more sweetener. These are delicious. They were so much fun. I hope you give them a try. Thanks so much for joining me today. We wouldn't be here if it weren't for you and your support. So thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you next week in the kitchen. Bye-bye.